We're here with Manny Gamburian, a UFC fighter. Manny, you have a fight coming up on August 4th. A couple of things to be uh, thinking about for that fight. One is it's in uh, Los Angeles. It's, the, it's at the Staples Center. And I believe this is going to be the first time you will be fighting in your hometown. Uh, and uh, it's another one of the fights that a lot of people are saying is uh, a, an almost must-win situation for you. The last uh, victory you had was on uh, April 24th of 2010. Three fights after that and uh, didn't quite go to your, well, your way. Uh, I know there was some controversy on a couple of those fights. You called me, told me you were getting ready to do your training camp starting tomorrow, so you wanted to kind of get this video done and uh, let everybody know where you're at, what you're doing. So I know I touched upon a lot of things just now. How are you feeling? What's going on? Uh, I'm feeling great. You know, I'm, I start my camp tomorrow. You know, that's. I mean, I'm always in camp. I always train. I don't take weeks, months off. I train lightly, and you know, tomorrow's the day. You know, I start for two months. You know, regularly, twice a day. You know, it's my sparring, it's my jujitsu, my judo, my wrestling. So I'm going for two months. Uh, it's gonna be a good fight. I'm fighting a, a judo, you know, champion, uh, Mishiro Omigawa. It's gonna be an awesome fight. We both, you know, backgrounds are judo. And, you know, it's it's an interesting fight, you know. But there's a lot of ways I can beat this guy. Like I said, when I'm in perfect shape, healthy, injury-free, I feel like I don't think anyone can beat me. That's how I think all the time. I mean, my division 145 is a pretty stacked, you know, division. You know, there's a lot of tough guys out there. You can't just be, you know, all right, I'm just going to beat this guy. Mm. Everyone's tough, so I look at, the, you know, it's a must-win fight for me. But, you know, every fight is must-win for you. So it doesn't matter I'm down 3, you know, you know 0-3. But the uh, good thing is, you know, UFC knows that, you know, I win those couple of fights because I really think I want to fight against Tyson Griffin. And I really think I want to fight against Diego Nunes. And, and I and I lost my, you know, title so, fight against Jose Aldo Ferenc. Let me ask you this. Uh, knowing what you know in your heart about your last two fights, is there anything different? Is there anything in particular that you're going to try to go for in this fight to make sure... It doesn't go to the judges. I mean, I know you know in, in your heart, in your mind, in your soul, you you were burnt twice. Basically, the last two fights when you let it go to the to the judges. Is that going to be a part of your game plan for this upcoming fight? Are you going to absolutely do everything you can to just make sure you finish this fight so it doesn't go to a decision? Most definitely. I, I every time I fight, I try. I go for a finish, but you know I'm fighting in a top notch level. This is UFC level, and it's very hard to finish people, but. I always train to finish people, but, you know, sometimes it doesn't go your way. Sometimes you feel like, you know, you lost a fight, which is, you know, it's fair, you know, it's fighting, it can happen. But, like I said, my last two fights, I thought I won the fights. I lost fair and square to Jose Aldo, he's a phenom, he's a great fighter. But, uh, going on this fight, I feel very comfortable. There is many ways I can beat this guy. And, you know, it could be a submission, it could be a ground and pound, it could be, you know, it could be a good decision, or I always go for submissions, or I always go for knockout. I want to put an exciting fight, because I haven't fought in L.A. with approximately maybe 12 years. Last time I fought over here. So we expect to see a big uh, a big Manny contingency yeah, uh, out at definitely. the Staples Center? I'm going to leave everything in the cage, you know, like this is my hometown, you know. Uh, I can say I grew up here. I've been living for 21 years, you know. It's like, it's it's my home, you know. You have to give me a great opportunity to fight in sure. L.A. You know, I want to thank them, and, you know. I just want to get ready and, you know, go on up for a great performance. Uh, speaking of getting ready and uh, your camp, is there anything different you're going to be doing uh, in preparation for this fight as far as your camp is concerned? Uh, yeah, I'm going to change it up a little bit. You know, I'm going to, I mean, st I'm still staying, you know, with my camp, I'm in Hassel Academy, with Goku Chivichian, and with, uh, my stand-up with Edmund Tarvadian at GFC, my wrestling, always with SK Golden Boys, you know. But I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to go to uh, probably... June, beginning of June, you know, middle of June, I'm going to uh, Diaz's camp, uh, 209. <laughs> I'm going to go to train with Diaz and then probably come back, relax and, you know, work out here. So everything is cool with you and Diaz? I mean, all the stuff that went on uh, during the TV show and and thereafter, I mean, everything's cool with you guys? It was never, it was never between, uh, you know, it was never bad between me, both of us, you know, we always, we were homies, we were friends in the show and then unfortunately, you know, I hurt my shoulder in my fight. But, you know, we were always friends. We never had beef together. We it's always trained. You know, it was always cool. You know, we always talked. We always, you know, we're friends. And, you know, he offered me, he goes, you're more than welcome to come come down and train together. And, you know, I, I know you're a hard worker. And, you know, I'm, 
you know, a lot of skills we can, you know, switch and work out together. I'm like, I'm, I'm down to come down, so I'm going to go down and, you know, I'm sure Gibraltar Melendez, Nate, Nick, Jake, and all this crew is going to be there. You know, I'm going to work out. I'm going actually probably with Ronda. Oh, okay. You know, we're all going there to train, and, you know, I'll be there for probably one or two weeks, come nice. back and show my boys here, and then probably go to Ben Henderson's in Arizona. Nice. Train a little bit there and come back, you know, like different styles, you know. Sure. Because Omega White is not a joke, you know. I mean, a lot of people say, you know, he's a judo guy, it's not, but he fought a lot. Uh, his record doesn't look good. Right. He's like 13 wins and 11 losses, but he never got finished. Mm-hmm. He lost by decisions and he fought a lot of tough guys. So I expect, you know, a tough fight, but like I said, I'm going to go for a finish because I fight my hometown. I gotta, I'm got. i going to have my crew, my Armenian fans, my Latin fans, my American fans. Everyone's going to be there, you know, supporting me and they're going to be... They can enjoy the fight, I'm sure. Well, you always put on a good show, that's for sure. Uh, we want to thank you again for obviously taking the time and uh, coming out and talking to us. I know uh, the next uh, few uh, months are going to be really tough and hectic for you, so we want to wish you the best of luck. And, uh, you know, I think you're going to... I, I do also believe that it's going to be a, a very uh, entertaining fight because uh, styles is what makes fights, and uh, both of you guys have similar styles as, as far as your judo background is concerned now speaking about that does that give you any kind of a concern i mean is this going to be more of a stand-up punch-out type of fight or is it going to be more like what you're used to way back when in the judo tournaments i mean granted there's no geese and all that stuff but it's still mma you still have the gloves on you're still going to be throwing the punches but what is it kind of weighing more towards something or you know is this something different for you that you've ever i mean have you ever fought a high level judo uh, judo caught never in, fought a in judo MMA. Guy. Not even, never fought a judo guy, but I would love to, you know, toss him on his head, you know, once or twice. That'll be awesome for me. But at the same time, you know, I always go for a finish. So it could be a knockout, it could be submissions. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for a finish. I don't want to leave it to judges because, like, I don't think it goes my way every time when I leave it to judges. So I want to finish this fight, you know, as soon as possible or late round two, late round three. Doesn't matter. I just want to finish. Great. And how's your uh, health so far? Physically, uh, any injuries to note? Any injuries to talk about? I'm just healthy, thank God. You know, I'm taking care of myself. You know, uh, I usually don't take care of myself. I just punish myself all the time and overtrain all the time. Uh, I I really don't believe overtraining or less training this and that. I was thinking hard hard work pays off, so I'm just gonna go out there and do my hard work again for two months. You know, a lot of sparring, a lot of drilling, a lot of judo, a lot of wrestling. A lot of running, a lot of conditioning. So it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be tough two two months. But I'm willing to do it, and uh, I really want this W, and I want W only. Well, we're gonna be there definitely cheering for you in Los Angeles, and uh, I'm sure we're gonna be here a lot. More. We're gonna all be hearing a lot more about uh, what's going on, and uh, as as the fight gets closer. So until then, Manny, thank you very much again for taking the time to speak with us, and we want to wish you good luck, and uh, hopefully we'll see you uh, real soon. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. See you guys soon.